and now that we're in the triple digits just about every single day, it's especially important to prioritize your health and wellness. Whether you're exercising or just want to pay more attention to your body, there are some tips you should keep in mind in this heat. Our Isabella Martin is joining us live with some of those things you should do. Good morning, Isabella. Good morning. I think there's one thing that we can all agree and that's that exercising when it's above 100 degrees is pretty difficult. But I've learned this morning there's a lot of things that we can do to actually navigate the heat. And here to tell us more about that is Lindsay. Lindsay, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Lindsay, you told me that it all starts with sleep and when you wake up. Can you explain that? A lot of people think that our fitness all relies on just the physical movement that we do, but our body all works together as one. So making sure that we're getting really great rest throughout the, the evening is just as crucial to getting a good workout in the morning. And so what's another way that we can navigate the heat and also stay fit? Yeah, I know that a lot as a parent myself, a lot of my friends are trying to consider how to stay active and keep our kids active and really burn some calories. Um, and so I think making sure that we're getting out first thing in the morning before those high temperatures between one and three in the afternoon is really crucial. Sometimes just coming to the park and letting the kids burn some energy is a great time for you to get in a few simple body weight or um, equipment assisted workouts as well. And I know for the past hour we've been kind of doing a little bit of a workout. I never thought that I would also be working out and <laughs> working as well. So let's go through this quick little workout that you yeah. taught me that we can actually do on this playground. Yeah, so I mean, I'm going to do it, but you walk us through what I'm doing. So we just do this. I know it looks a little silly in a skirt, but we just tap. And <laughs> yeah. what is the purpose of this? This is kind of a low intensity workout, right? Yeah, it can be as low intensity or as high intensity as you want it to be. So you can either step up and then step back down or just toe touches. And either way, we're really paying attention to what's going on in your body. You'll start noticing as your heart rate increases, as your breathing gets a little bit more difficult, and the more you're paying attention to your body and knowing when to push and when to pull back, it's gonna be really crucial to managing these workouts in the heat. Right, and I was a little out of breath just doing this, but when it's above 100 degrees, you were telling me something about mindful... Mindful movement. So just paying attention to all of your body as you're doing it helps you to, uh, again, either push and pull and not have the black and white thinking of, I have to commit fully to get this workout. Sometimes a little bit of something is better than a lot of nothing. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Lindsay. I know where I will be after work. I'll be maybe hitting the park and doing some of these workouts.